stone vet. I hit the ground running when I'm invading your country. It's still with honor and discipline. Throw my guns like onyx, dressed in camo. What's up, guys? Sergeant G here from Stone Vet USMC. Happy Hump Day. I'm super glad to be here with you guys, man. Hopefully, your week has been going great. Hopefully, it hasn't been in a suck, right? We all know how bad of a week can suck. Seems like it's been a long week for whatever reason, but there's been so much going on here at this house, dude. There's been, we got so many things moving. I got to finish getting this house together. Uh, the other house is going to be done in like six weeks, dude. Super excited. So you guys will probably not be seeing too much of me here before too long. It's going to be not going to be catching any freaking hump day episodes because I got to get moved into the new house. Got to get set up and everything's going to be probably a couple months before you guys see me again, man, which hopefully I can make it back before the freaking veteran podcast awards, man. Super excited to be here. Like I tell you guys every week, you see that, right? You did it. You guys did that veteran podcast award winner, top Marine podcast. I can only do it with you guys. You guys out there support me on a weekly basis. You guys are catching my content three times a week right now, which is great. And I can't do it without you guys. And I'm super excited you guys are here with me to do this, man. It's going to be coming back up again in October. Voting opens in July, I think. I don't know. I have to double check. And then, you know, I'll hit you up because I'm already hitting you up for this one right here, right? Chronic Palooza. I'm already hitting you up for that. When they put me in, they nominated me. My, my podcast, this podcast, our podcast. Has been nominated for an award at Chronic Palooza for top podcast. Get out there and vote. If you come over to my YouTube channel, I'll have it, the hyperlink in the description box. You can go straight there and buy the votes. 20 bucks gets me 500 votes. The money is going, I, I found out the money's not even going to the freaking person who's hosting the show. It's not going, it's going straight to It Stops Here nonprofit. It Stops Here is a nonprofit that helps children whose parents have been incarcerated for cannabis convictions. The money goes back to help the children who are having to live with grandparents, aunts, uncles, and so forth, you know, because their parents that were incarcerated for possession of cannabis. It helps them get, pay the electric bills, it helps them put food on the table. So when I say 20 bucks, dude, can you guys get, lend me 20 bucks so I can get some votes? I got to win this award. Help me bring over another award because, look, wouldn't it be nice to put right next to the gold war hammer? Be nice to have two awards, right? All because of you guys that are listening every week, man. I'm super excited. I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, Rafa 1A. Rafa 1A provides you the best medicinal grade CBD on the market, hands down. I tell you guys every week, I know you guys probably get tired of hearing it, but they have the best CBD on the market, hands down. CBD works. You may have tried it and said, this crap doesn't work. It doesn't help. What do you do when the doctor tells you, hey, here's a new medication. I want you to try it. Come back in two weeks. Let me know how it's working so I know if I need to adjust, so I can adjust it. If I need to give you more, I need to give you less or hell, we may need to give you a completely different thing. Why not go to the experts in the CBD industry, right? Rafa 180 has the leading experts in CBD and understanding of why you want to use CBD and what is the proper dosing for you to be able to use CBD. They work with you. They'll hold your hand and help you through it so that you can get the medicinal needs that you are wanting to achieve while using CBD. Like I said, as a veteran, we suck at getting sleep. We absolutely suck at getting sleep. I think last night I got about four hours of sleep last night. But guess what? I went, clicked Rafa 180, right? Romeo Alpha Papa Hotel Alpha 180.com. Right there, first thing that pops up, time for sleep. You click that tab, it's going to show you two amazing products. You got a tincture and you got a pill. Some people can't have the tincture because the stomachs, it messes up their stomach, but there's a pill. I took the night ops last night. I take it, fuck, I'm almost out. I'm about to, have to order some more. I'm almost out. I'm going to have to order some more because I got like two pills left. I take it before I go to bed just so I can know I can get a good night of sleep. What's great about it, it's not like an Ambien. You take an Ambien, you guys know you need like 18, 20 hours of sleep when you take an Ambien. What's great about this is that it's not addictive and it's not going to put your ass to sleep. It's going to just turn off your mind. It's going to turn the brain off so you can get the rest that you need, man. So go check out Rafa180.com. When you check out the Stone Vet USMC, get 15% off your entire purchase. Spend $85 or more, you get free priority shipping to your front door, dude. Better than Amazon, dude. Honestly, it's some great stuff, man. I got to tell you guys, I'm super excited to be here with you guys on this Wednesday. I know you guys get tired of looking at this mug on a weekly basis, but if you guys are watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share. 
Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. If you're on YouTube, man, share this content. Get it out there, dude. Subscribe. Let my numbers go up. I've been seeing them. They're going up, dude. Like every day I'm getting somebody new, which is great. I want to be bigger than like Mr. Beast or Afmal or Preston or Brianna or any of those other fools that are out there that have millions of views and millions of hours of content, right? You guys already know I'm already over 140 episodes. I got 140 hours worth of content. You guys can't get bored, man. Go check. Go hit that subscribe button, man. If you're listening on, on iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, iHeartRadio, however you're listening to this, leave me a five-star review, dude, so I can start getting in the shuffle, right? Whenever you go to listen to something, you can say, hey, I want to listen to Stone Vet. It's going to pull it right up. Hey, Google, play the Stone Vet USMC. It's going to pull it right up, dude. Honest, I promise you. So go leave me a five-star review and go go do that, man. Go hit me up. Go help support this channel. This is your channel. I do this for you guys so you guys can have somebody to listen to and be like, look, at least it ain't me on the microphone. I got Sarn G on the microphone talking for me, right? I'm super excited. Dude. I've got so many freaking amazing things coming out this Friday. I got two moderators from Vet Codes coming out this friday i got tj and mr alex boy they're doing some amazing thing with vet codes you guys saw it a few weeks ago maybe a couple months ago i had david the founder of vet codes now i got two moderators coming out this friday from vet codes talking about the amazing things they're doing for the veteran community man so i'm super excited about that man i actually got off the phone not too long ago but i guess who the stone sailor i'm so i was super excited i was like wow i got tagged in a post on instagram about this guy they said look sergeant g look at this and i said the stone sailor i was like who the hell is this guy you know it's just another vet trying to get medicinal benefits out there to you guys that listen to this on a weekly basis he's got a bigger following than me dude's got like 1.2 thousand followers on youtube subscribers on youtube why do i only have 300 of you guys you guys ain't sharing the content so we can get more subscribers on the channel but he's got, I mean, he's doing it. He's talking, he talks about how can, how cannabis has saved his life. And he, trust me, he's going to be on the show this week. You won't see it for a couple of weeks, but he'll be on the show this week. He'll actually be going live with me this Thursday. So you don't want to miss that. I will have the Stone Sailor with me this Thursday over at Vet Radio Syndicate. You can catch it on my YouTube channel or you can catch it over at Vet Radio Syndicate on Facebook or my Facebook channel as well. So there's going to be a lot of great places, dude. So I'm super excited about that, which is going to be great, man. But there's a lot of things, man. I got James. James, James is just the creator of Vet Vet uh, Vet Maps. I got him coming out today, Wednesday. I'm going to be recording a show with him from Vet Maps. Doing amazing things. Like I said, dude, these are a lot of amazing veterans who are advocates for cannabis. The medicinal benefits of cannabis and how it can help us live a normal life that's what i try to tell you guys on a weekly basis you guys have got to get out there and you guys have got to advocate dude you guys have to get out there and you have to advocate for this medicinal plant dude some like i said there's only 37 states 37 out of 50 states where cannabis is either medicinal or adult use if you live in a state and cannabis isn't legal why why are you not going up to the Capitol and say, hey, or talking to your state representative, say, hey, I just need to know what does it take for me to get something put on a bill? Because every state is different. Every state has its own bylaws that it has to go through in order to get something put on a ballot to vote on, right? As a veteran, dude, you know we hard-headed as hell. You tell us how to do it, we're going to do it. But if you live in a state and cannabis isn't even there... Do you feel like you're failing yourself? You're failing your community? Don't wait for somebody else to do it. Be that person. Because trust me, when people are like, oh, so-and-so was able to put this on a ballot so we could vote on it. I need to go talk to him. I need to figure out what his mission is and why he's wanting to do this, man. Like here in Oklahoma, man, I'm super excited, though. This just passed a day ago. What's it, what it says on Monday... This passed on Monday here in Oklahoma. Oklahoma senators approved suicide and research bill, but they delete the decriminalization. But it passed here. It passed nine to zero. The senators, nobody that voted against the suicide and research bill. 
right? And this is one of the things I keep telling you guys about, right? I told you guys about a month ago, I think it's been about almost a month now, that I was at the Capitol talking with my senators to tell them the importance of the psilocybin bill, right? Why Texas is already doing it. You guys in Texas, you guys already have a psilocybin research bill going on for the in the veteran community. Are you a part of it? If you are, reach out to me. I'd like to talk to you about it to see exactly what to see exactly what what it is that you guys are doing so I can get an understanding because I'm going to go and apply for this psilocybin research. You know, my wife has already said it's been changing my life since I can't smoke. So psilocybin has been helping you a lot. Like you know, little things aren't pissing you off anymore. And I was like, huh? You know, I take I, I microdose about 1.6 grams, one and a half grams a day. You know, I'm super excited. You know, this is. This, this is this is pretty awesome here in Oklahoma. Like I said, we're already leading the way in cannabis, right? A lot of people talk about it. I mean, I've been listening to the podcast, and they always talk about how Oklahoma's cannabis bills, how Oklahoma how Oklahoma cannabis is leading the way right now in the nation. You know, let's see here. They said it says here that 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 they are with explicit this this bill with explicitly authorized research institutes to to obtain psilocybin and use a psychedelic for investigations into the treatment efficiency for 10 different conditions including pts severe depression and opioid use disorder right that's one of the things we suffer from as veterans right pts depression and opioid opioid use disorder how many of you guys are taking opioids on a daily basis? How many of y'all are taking too many opioids? You know, and that's one of the biggest things that nobody ever talks about, right? Everybody knows about the 22. Here in Oklahoma, we got 27 veterans that take their life every day. I'm sitting here shooting the show with you, and I got a brother and sister taking their life right now while I'm shooting the show with you guys. It's sad, and it sucks, right? You are here with me enjoying this, and we're losing somebody right now because... They're unaware that Sergeant G from the Stone Vet is talking to them right now. Why are you not sharing the content? Share this content. I'm telling you, it's going to get out there. We have got to grow this channel. We have got to grow this channel, guys. You know, here it says eligible institutions would need to register with both the Department of Health and the Department of Agriculture, Food and Forestry for the purposes of growing, studying, processing, dispensing psilocybin containing fungi or other natural occurring source organisms, or studying, extracting, synthesizing, or dispensing psilocybin, according to the bill, right? Here it says, if you if people are wanting to participate in it, they're going to have to get a physician to sign off on it, saying that they, they you should try it, that you should try this research project, right? Which is great, because right now, right, that's one of the things that's great about psilocybin is that they don't drug test for it. Can they? I'm sure they can, but they're not. They're not right now, right? That's what I'm using right now because I get drug tested on them. They changed it now. I'm not getting drug tested every two weeks now. I think because I'm on my final year now, they're spreading it out. So maybe I'll only go in a couple times this year, which will be fine because come November, I'm done. They can no longer drug test me because I'm not in a drug testing position, you know? So it says here... Uh, there is a separate psilocybin research bill that does not specify which populations would be eligible to participate in or be the focus of the research initiative. Legislation would authorize universities and research research organizations to look into the therapeutic potential of psychedelic for veterans of the military and the Oklahoma National Guard specifically. So this program here, this program is specifically for the veteran community. This psilocybin research is specifically for the veteran community in the Oklahoma National Guard here in Oklahoma. You know, so this is one of the main reasons that I was at the Capitol advocating for it, right? Because we suck, dude. We suffer from a lot of crazy crap while serving our country, right? Feels pretty. Uh, they said that he feels both measures have an extremely good chance of being enacted in the conservative legislature, noting that the bill passed in Texas last year that requires the state to carry out studies on psychedelics for veterans. So like I said, like I told you guys, in Texas, you guys already have this in the veteran community. You guys already have psychedelics in the veteran community. If you guys are currently doing or you know somebody currently doing, have them reach out to me. I want to talk to them. I want to see if there's what kind of benefits they're seeing because apparently it's working. It's working in here at home for me. For what the wife's telling me, she said it's working. It's working really good. And so I keep microdosing on a regular basis. You know, I've got more coming in. 
I don't like to eat them full no more though. I used to when I first got home. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gross now, dude. I, oh, it makes me want to throw up and oh, it's just. I gotta wrap it in a in a fruit roll up. I gotta take a fruit roll up out and put my quantity in it. That's how I have to eat it. And even then, it's still oh, it's, oh, it tastes horrible. I like weed. I like to be able to smoke weed. Smoking weed doesn't have a bad taste unless you got some nasty dank. But if you got some good weed, dude, I like to smoke. I'll tell you that much. Especially got some nice dabs or something. I'll tell you that much, man. And on here in this article, it goes through it, man. Like Colorado House Committee approved a bill last week aligning state statutes to legalize MDMA prescriptions if and when federal government ultimately permits such use. Georgia lawmakers advanced bipartisan resolution that calls for formation of a House study committee to investigate the therapeutic potential of psychedelics. Governor of Utah last month signed a bill to create a task force to study and make recommendations on therapeutic potential of psychedelics. Missouri House Committee also held a hearing last month on a GOP-led bill to legalize wide range of psychedelics for therapeutic use. Connecticut Legislative Committee approved a bill last month that would set up set the state up to provide certain patients with access to psychedelic assisted treatments with substances like MDMA and psilocybin. Washington state legislator recently sent a budget bill to the governor's desk that includes a proposal to direct $200,000 in funding to support a new work, work group to study possibility of legalizing psilocybin in the state. Hawaii Senate approved a bill to set up a state working group to study the therapeutic benefits of psilocybin mushrooms. Rhode Island lawmakers introduced a pair of drug decriminalization bills last month, including one focused on psilocybin. Oregon. Didn't they just legalize everything in Oregon? Committee also re recently advanced a bill to ensure the equity is built into the state's historic therapeutic psilocybin program. A bill to decriminalize a wide array of psilocybics in Virginia was taken up by the House of Delegates panel in January, only to be pushed off until 2023. A separate Senate proposal to decriminalize psilocybin alone was later defeated in a key committee. So in Virginia, you guys have got to go and start advocating because they've already turned down psilocybin. In California, there was a bill to legalize psychedelics possessions. Stands a 50-50 chance of reaching the governor's desk. Washington state lawmakers also introduced legislation in January that would legalize the bill that caused supported psilocybin experience. Meanwhile, in Pennsylvania, a bill meant to promote research into the therapeutic potential of psilocybin mushrooms for certain mental health conditions may be in jeopardy with the sponsor saying that the chair of the key house committee is expressing reservations even after the legislation was amended in an effort to build support. New Hampshire lawmakers filed measures to decriminalize psilocybin and all drugs. So New Hampshire trying to be like Oregon. At the constitutional level, bipartisan lawmakers sent a letter to the DEA in January urging that the agency allow terminally ill patients to use psilocybin. So as you can tell, going around the country right now, there's a lot of states fighting for psilocybin, right? Fighting to allow psilocybin in their state, which is great, dude, right? Because in the majority of those states, cannabis is already legal, right? But the studies that have been coming out showing the medicinal benefits of psilocybin, guys, this is one of the things that, this is why I do the show, right? This is one of the main reasons I do the show is to help educate you guys and understand, right? Plant-based medicines. That's one of the things that we have got to start understanding and start using. How can we use plant-based medicines to help treat our ailments that we suffer from on a daily basis, right? Because we all know. We all suffer from PTS. We all have anxiety. We all have depression. We all have all this crap from serving our country, right? We're trying to learn how to live this normal life. Like, how do you live this normal life, right? And people do it, right? But they're on opioids. They're on pills. They take all these pills every day. They Sometimes some of them are zombies and all, all this other crap, right? But wouldn't you want to be a functioning citizen of this country, right? Even though you're suffering from anxiety, even though your PTS is acting up because you're in a place that you're unaware of, like trying to live a normal life, right? What, how do we do it? How, what, what is going on? You know, 
So that's one of the things that I try to teach you guys. I try to educate you guys. Look, it's happening. Oklahoma just passed it. There is a new research program about to take off. I think they said they already have three universities scheduled to go this year. And they got like another 20 or 30 within the coming years to take on this research project, which is great for Oklahoma veteran community, right? Apparently, Oklahoma has some of the largest veteran communities in the country, right? Not, I don't know. I mean, Texas has a lot of freaking people and a lot of land, but I mean, this is great for our community to help our community grow, you know? And this is one of the things I keep telling you about. It's like one of my things, like I said, I was talking to the Stone Sailor earlier today, and one of the things we were talking about is this federal legalization, right? We all saw it pass the House. It passed the House, right? It not by lot, but it passed the House, 220 to 204. There were still 204 people who opposed legalizing cannabis in this country. And it's like, why? You know? And I was talking to him. Tell me how many of you guys would be interested in going to the Capitol when Senate goes to vote to legalize cannabis? How many of you guys would be willing to go stand on the floor? I want to stand on the floor. I want to stand on the floor when they go to vote for federal legalization of cannabis. Because I want to look them in the eyes. When they vote no, I want to look at them in the eyes and say, why? What is your purpose of saying no for my medical freedom? Canada, they already support the veteran community with cannabis. The VA is paying for the medicine, right? The VA is supposed to pay for our medicine, right? Why do you think we're on so many opioids, right? Biden just signed a bill to help with the opioid crisis that's going on right now. Billions of dollars to help with the opioid pandemic that's going on right now. Majority of the pandemics in our community. I need to figure out how to get in contact with somebody at the Capitol so when they go to vote for federal legalization of cannabis, I just want to have, hell, just a handful of us. Hell, I do 10, 20 freaking veterans sitting on the floor when it comes time to vote. So when they say so-and-so votes no, why? Why are you voting no on cannabis? It's probably already legal in your state. And you're going to vote against it? Why? Why is that? Why is it that you're voting against me, the veteran who's suffering, right? Because 90% of you sorry SOBs that are sitting in the Senate have never been to war. Have ran. I mean, the fucking president himself refused to go to freaking Vietnam. He ran just like everybody else. Ran away. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to go to war. Mr. Biden, your son has a drug problem. If the Senate says no, I need you as the president of the free world to veto it and legalize cannabis in our country. That's one thing I'm always telling you guys is medical freedom. We need to be advocating. If you guys are in a state and you guys have not got cannabis legalized in your state, you guys have to allow your voices to be heard. You need to go talk to your representative in your county of your state and say, hey, sir, I am so-and-so from the whatever branch you were in. I need to figure out how to get cannabis on a bill, on a ballot, so that the, the state can vote for it. And you guys have got to start knocking doors. You guys have got to reach out to the veteran community in your area. Veterans are everywhere. We're in all 50 states, dude. We're everywhere. And I guarantee you there's veterans with the same bright ideas that you have. And they're stuck like you. Like, how do I get started? How do I do this? Go and stand up and allow your voices to be heard. Those representatives want to hear from you. They say they're for the veteran. Let's find out how for the veteran they truly are. Get out there. Start knocking on doors. Start making phone calls. Talking to your freaking representative. Talking to your freaking mayor. Start talking to the freaking senators in your area. Start calling, picking up the phone and reaching out. You need something? Come to me. 
I've got the green paper given by the Veteran Action Council. I got the field report given by the Weed for Warrior Project. I've got all of it. Present it to him and say, look, here it is from the veteran community. You're for the vet here. Look at this. Read it. Go and get your voices heard. Allow them to hear your voices. You guys, we have got to get cannabis legalized in this country. It's about medical freedom is what it's coming down to now. It's absolutely about medical freedom, man. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me on this freaking Wednesday. Hopefully I was able to give you some insight. Let's talk plant-based medicine, brothers and sisters. Have you guys considered using it? Are you scared to use it? Leave me some comments. I'll respond back. Let's break the stigma that the government has given on plant-based medicines. Mushrooms and cannabis are Schedule One drugs, equivalent to crack cocaine, heroin, and meth. It's a damn shame. We have got to break the stigma and help our community. Like I tell you guys, as I'm sitting here talking with you, we're losing a brother or sister right now while I'm shooting the show. And it sucks because they didn't get to hear these words. They didn't get to know that there's somebody there with them. Right? Don't forget to go check out Chronic Palooza right there. Chronic Palooza. Go vote for Sergeant G. You can vote every day. Voting closes in like 13. 15 days or so, 14, 15 days voting closes. Right there, Chronic Palooza, you see that? Get out there and vote. You can vote every day if you don't want to buy votes. Get out there and vote every day. Make sure you log in and vote every day. I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, Rafa 1A. Like I tell you guys, you guys want to try some CBD? You guys dealing with some aches and pains, trying to get some sleep? Go to Rafa180.com. That's Romeo Alpha Papa Hotel Alpha180.com. When you check out the Stone Vet USMC, get 15% off your entire purchase. Spend $85 or more. Free priority shipping to your front door, dude. Can't beat it, dude. That's pretty freaking good, man. Go and do that, man. Like I said, this Friday, I got TJ and Alex from Vet Codes, the moderators, talking about some amazing things, dude. These are brothers and sisters, dude. They served what they served just like us, dude. Let's get bigger than Joe Rogan. Let's get bigger than Mike Tyson. I can only do it with you guys sharing this content. Let's blow this channel up. This is your channel. You want to hear something specifically? Message me. Leave me a message. I'll talk about it. Whatever you guys want, man. I appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this hump day, dude. Hopefully you guys are going to be doing great. Don't forget to miss, don't miss my live this Thursday. I got... The Stone Sailor coming on this Thursday. You don't want to miss that live. It's going to be a great freaking episode, dude. This Thursday on my YouTube channel, on my Facebook page, on v Vet Radio Syndicate Facebook page. However you like to watch it, don't you don't want to miss it. The Stone Sailor will be out this Thursday with me. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Appreciate this time together. You want to hear something new? You want to hear something better? You want to try to figure something out? Message me. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Let's get this content out there, man. Remember, guys, here at the Stone Vet, we got you six. I stay alert for my enemies trying to do me some harm. I fight for your freedom of speech and your right to bear arms. When I say I got your six, that means I got your back. But what else would you expect coming from the Stone Vet? One, two, three, four for my country, I go hardcore.